Okay, so good afternoon again. So ratios and proportions tayo. So madali lang to, no? And especially for those na nakikinig nung, nung high school. I think even elementary at tinuturo na to eh, ratios and proportion and percentage. Okay, connect, connect yan. Okay, so I'll be playing. Nakinig lang tayo. So medyo madali lang talaga yung first three chapter ng business math. So make sure no, nakabisado natin yung paikot-ikot nito. No? Yung ratio, proportions, yung decimals, yung fractions, yung percentage. Yan, yung tipong kahit paikot-ikotin kayo, kahit anong question, basta meron ako nagtad with fra fractions, with percentage, ratios, and proportions, nakasagutan natin. Okay, so I'll play. Good morning, everyone. So for today, we're business mathematics tayo. and then we're going to talk about our ratios and proportions and um, may percentage na din. Ito, review lang din to ng mga naging past lessons nyo sa nung high school, nung elementary. And so, chapter 3, ratios, and percentage, ratio, and proportion. And at the end of this discussion, we should be able to compare and differentiate ratio and rate. And then, write proportions illustrating a real-life situation. Yan. And then, identify different kinds of proportions. And should be able to solve problems involving direct, inverse, and Partitive proportion. And so let's have a recap. And ratios are comparison made between two sets of numbers. For example, there are eight girls and seven boys in the class. So the ratio will be eight is to seven. So eight girls is to seven boys. Ratios are used every day. They are used for miles per hour, the cost of items per pound, gallon, hourly rate of pay. Yeah. So for example, 80 miles to one hour. Pero pag nasa Pilipinas tayo, siguro, lalo na pag nasa EDSA, yeah, siguro ilang miles lang eh, naabot na ng oras kasi traffic. So we have three ways to write ratios. Meron tayong um, ito, using word two in between of two numbers. And then, and for example, eight is to five. And eight girls to five boys. Writing ratio using a colon between two numbers. Yeah. Instead of um, three to four, yeah, mag mag magiging ano na siya, may colon na siya sa gitna. Write a ratio as a fraction. Yan, pwede rin yun. So, for example, Hunter and Brandon were playing basketball. Brandon scored five baskets and Hunter scored six baskets. What was the ratio of the baskets? Hunter scored to the basket, Brandon scored. So, syempre, um, normally kung sino yung unang name or in a subject na binabanggit ayun yung unang number yan for example dito hunter six basket so nasa unahan siya six basket is to five basket yan um for example ito uh, write the ratio in three dif dif uh, different ways there are 13 boys and 17 girls so meron tayong 13 is to 17 Meron na may isa colon, and then may, may fraction. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, we have rules for solving ratio problems. When writing ratios, the problem should be written in order. In which problem ask for them? So for example, there are four girls and the seven boys. What is the ratio of girls to boys? So syempre, unahin natin yung girls and then saka tayo sa boys. Yan. So magiging uh, four girls to seven boys and then with the colon and then fraction. Yan. And then solve and write ratios in all three forms. Yan. Uh, the Panthers played 15 games this season. They won three games. What is the ratio of games won to games played? Ayan. So meron 15 games, tapos meron namang 13 na napanalunan. Ano daw yung panalo? Yung won to uh, games played. So... 13 is to 15, and or 13 over 15. Okay, so, ayun, meron naman tayong reducing ratios, pero parang ano din to, um, parang fractions din siya na, ano natin, na sinisimplest form natin. Yan. Ratios can be reduced without changing the relationship. For example, two boys to four girls. Yan. Pag reduce natin siya, magiging one boy to two girls. Yan. So, ito. Is the relationship the same? Two boys to four girls is equal to one boy to three girls. Same ba sila? Siyempre, hindi na. Kasi dapat ano lang to, one boy to two girls. Yan. Again, um, another rule, all, ratio, all ratios must be written in the lowest form, in its lowest form or lowest term. Yan. So we have the steps here. Read the word, prob word problem set up the ratio and then pag nakuha na natin saka natin siya in the lowest form same with the fraction din ganun din siya and for example um you scored 40 answers correct out of 45 problems so on the test on a test write the ratio of the correct answers to the total question so meron tayong 40 to 45 and then para malaman natin kung ilan yung ano um ilan yung tama mo sa bilang ng ano ng number of question so yan ilo lowest form natin paano siya nilo lowest per uh, nilo lowest term ano din siya parang lcd din yan both ini divide natin sa 5 so meron tayong 8 over 9 so ang ang ano natin dito ang ang interpretation natin every 9 question meron kang 8 na tama or pwede rin naman every ang isang mali ganun so another problem there are 26 black cards in a deck of playing cards if there are 52 cards in a deck, what is the ratio of the black cards of the deck of the cards? Yeah, meron tayong 20. Six black cards in a deck. And then 52 cards. So, we're going to So, reconnecting. Medyo mahina talaga ang ito day. Ayan. So, she read 15 chapters in 3 days. So, what is the ratio of the chapters read to the numbers 
or the number of days she read. So <clears throat> 15 is to 3 days. So both are divisible by 3. So 5 is to 1. So meron siyang 5. Kaya niya magbasa ng 5 chapters in 1 day. Yan. So another one is the proportions. When we say proportions, proportions are two ratios of equal value. Yan. So alin dito yung yan. Are these ratios saying the same thing? N -n naman, tama naman. Four one four. Ito ba, equal ba sila? Yan. One-fourth versus five over sixteen. Yan. So, hindi. Kasi dapat magiging equal pa sila kung four over sixteen, di ba? Yan. Determining true proportion. Yan. Para, para ma-determine natin kung ano sila, kung equal ba talaga sila, mag-cross-multiply mag tayo. So, yung numerator, yung numerator ng unang ratio, i-multiply natin sa denominator ng second ratio. And then, yung uh, numerator ng second ratio, i-multiply natin sa um, denominator ng first ratio. So, if both um, are same, and then, ano sila, uh, proportion sila. Yan. Oh, so, ito, um, ayun, check natin kung ano sila, kung proportion ba sila. Atong three numbers na to. And any volunteer, aside from those who have already recited last time? Yan, ang mga hindi pa nagre-recite, anyway, ang nakapag-recite na pala, yan, si Kabuko, si Domingo, Orlano, si Galvez, Sila Manalo, Montuerto, Palabon, si Ting. Pwede nang iba din. Check nyo lang kung ano sila. Kung... I-solve lang natin kung ano, kung proportion ba sila. Walang mag-volunteer. Walang ano. Walang may gusto. Yes? Ma'am. Mm -mm. Number one po. O sige. Wala na bang iba? Maliban dun sa mga nabanggit kong pangalan kanina. Okay, si Miranda daw muna. Sige, si Miranda daw muna sa one. Pagbigyan natin. And then, sino pa? Um, sino ba yung nandito? Yan, si Villarin. Or sino pa ba? Okay, sige. Number two daw si Villarin. And then, number three, sino pa ba? Si Bulahan. Ayan. Ayun. Uh, Bulahan kaya? Or si ano na lang? Uh, Bokong. Ah, okay. Sige, si Vistal. Ah, sige, si Bulahan na. Si Bulahan lang muna ako natawag eh. Okay, Bulahan. So, sa number one, si... Ano nga ba yun? Sino nga ulit? Si, sa number one, si Miranda. Number two, si Villardin. Number three, si Vistal. Okay, so number one, ano? Miranda. Pasabi na lang kung ano yung ano. Kung ano yung product. Nandun po sa, un, ano, sa number one, cross multiplication, 3 times 25 mm -mm. equals to 75. Mm -mm. 5 times 15 is equals to 75. Okay, Proportion so, Okay, thank you. Very good. Okay, number two naman, si Villarina. 
Hello po. Ano po? Same lang po sila, 456. Okay. Ano po ulit yung ano mo? Pro ano pa? Proportion. Uh, proportion. Ay, proportion. Okay. Uh, Okay, thank you. So number three naman, uh, bulahan. Ma'am, not proportion po. Hmm. Oo nga, mukha nga kasi kasi ano product. Cross multiplication po yung ginamit ko, ma'am. Hmm. Okay, so let's check kung tama ba. And 75 for 56 and yung sa number three, hindi sila proportion. So tama. Okay. Yeah, solving proportions with variables. Yeah, um, Eric rode his bicycle 52 miles in four hours. Yeah. Riding at the same rate, how far can he travel in seven hours? Yeah, parang ano to? Um, hahanapin natin kung ilang miles na yung na ride niya in seven hours if. Ano yun, he can he can ride um 52 miles in 4 hours. So paano nga ba siya? Ayan, um you have 52 miles in 4 hours. This is our first ratio. And the next problem is how far can he travel in 7 hours? Ayan. So more likely ang, ang ginagawa dito 52 uh, divided by 4 ilan ba yun? So 13, 13 siguro. 13 times 7 Nasa ano siya, 13 times 7, 91. So, okay. So, yun. Um, so, yun. Tama. Ito yung solution niya. So, 52 over 4 is equal to n over 7. And then, saka natin isasolve yung n. Yan. So, first, cross multiply daw. Divided by both sides by the number connected to the variable and then check the answer to see if the it makes a true proportion. Para na ma-check ko lang natin kung proportion pa rin yung sagot. Yan. So, 52 times 7 ang ginawa niya, 364. Tapos, 4 is equal to n for n. Yan. Ganito pala siya mag-solve. Pero yun, yung isa na, yun ang ginagawa ko, dinidivide ko muna, 52 over 4, tapos saka ako minumultiply sa 7. Pwede din yun. Depende din sa discard nyo. Tapos ito naman, ang, ginag ang ginawa niya, another solution, nagko-cross-multiply siya, tsaka niya dinidivide. Yan, tsaka niya, ano to, um, tinatanggal yung number kasama nung n para n na lang yung matitira. Okay, so either the two, kung ano yung gusto nyo doon. Ayun, pag ako nag-solve, nag ano, yun nga, 52 over 4, tsaka ako may multiply by 7. At ito naman ang ginawa niya, 52 times 7, sa kanya din by 4. Okay, ano, kahit naman saan doon sa dalawa, pwede na lang kayo kung ano madali. Ayan. Okay. Solve each problem. For every dollar Julia spends on her MasterCard, each earned three frequent flyer miles with American Airlines. If Julia spent $609 on her card, how many frequent flyer miles she will earn? Sino pang di nagre-recite? Si Miranda. Sino pa ang dito na hindi pa nagre-recite? Ayan, si... Si Pokong. Kahit type mo lang yung sagot. Ayan. Sabi ng problem, for every... Dollar Julia spends on her MasterCard, she earns three frequent flyer miles with American Airlines. If Julia spent $609 on her card, how many frequent flyer miles she will earn? Any volunteer aside from dun sa mga nakaresite na? Sino pa ba? 
ayan, um, si Coco na nandito, pwede rin siya mag-recite. Si Cruz, si Cruz Micalain, ayan, sino pa ba? Um, si De La Torre, ayan, recite. Si, si Javier, si Maglasang, ayun. Sinong gustong magsagot? Poco? Madali lang to. Baka wala si Poco. Si De La Torre. Wala, si Red. <laughs> si Kimberly Maglasa. Okay, pwede rin naman si Ganoza. Wala, nahihiya siguro sila. Okay, sige. <laughs> sige, sige. Ayun, anong sagot kaya dito? Sino na lang? <laughs> Kahit itype nyo na lang, try nyo lahat kayo. Okay, sige. Sabi nila mo, stay 1827 daw. 1827 siya, Vinicius Monduerto. Okay, sige. Check natin. Sabi niya, ano, three, ano daw, sabi niya, every one dollar, meron siyang three frequent flyers. So, meron tayong unang pro proportion, ay, unang ratio, yung one third. So, magiging, ano siya, six over, um, to one over three miles, tapos, Six, uh, 609 over yung miles. So, more likely, multiply lang natin. 3 miles times 600. Tama, 1827. Oh, Kayang-kaya natin i-mental. 1827. So, all are correct. Yan, si Lamostes, si Mentuerto. Okay, so next question naman, ito din. Um, number one, Justin's car uses 40 gallons of gas to drive 250 miles. At this rate, appro uh, approximately, how many gallons of gas will he need to trip 600 miles? Yan, pwede na lang din mag-type or kung sinong, okay, sabi ni Palabon, 96 gallons daw. Let's check. Yan, 916, sabi ng iba. Okay. Tapos sa number three naman. If three gallons of milk cost nine dollar, how many jugs can you buy for four hundred fifty dollars? Yeah, type lang natin sa chat box. Three gallons of milk cost nine dollars ilang ga ilang gallons okay let's check fifteen okay number three naman um on Thursday on Thursday Karen drove four hundred miles in eight hours at this at this at the same speed how far can he she drive in twelve hours Yes, check natin. Ayan. So, sa unang question, nag-cross-multiply siya. 
40 gallons of gas to drive 250. How many gallons will he need for a trip of 600 miles? So, correct, 96 kayo, 96 lahat ng nagsagot. And then, number two naman, 15. 15 to. Ay. Okay, medyo may ano to. Confusing yung, parang mali yung solution niya. Dapat, ano, 90, 45 divided by how many three ga ah how many three gallons okay how many mali ata yung pit lang check natin yung unang tanong nagkulong siya ng three gallons eh wait lang hanapin natin yung question Dito kasi wala siyang nilagay na 3 gallons. So, 15. 15 yung sagot doon. Dito nagbago yung tanong niya. How many 3 gallons of jugs can be purchased? Basta ano siya, 45 um, divided by 9. Merong 5, 5 times 3 equals 15. Pero pag ito yung tanong, since how many 3 gallons na daw, i-divide na lang natin to 45 over 9. So, meron tayong 5. Five sets of three gallons. Pero yung dun sa unang question, 15 gallons yun. Ito naman ang sagot, on Thursday, Karen drove 400 miles in eight hours at the same speed. Okay, meron siyang tama, 600 miles. Okay, so medyo madali lang yung question. Try natin to. Ito medyo, medyo may mga nakikita ko mga hirap-hirap dito. Ayan. So recap ulit tayo. Ang ratio, meron siyang fraction, meron colon, tapos may gumagamit ng 2. Pero kadalasan pag ratio, ang ginagamit talaga yung may colon. Eh. Ayan. Ayan. And also, meron ding mga ratio na tiga tatlo, tiga apat, hindi lang tiga dalawa. For example, ito, 75 is to 60 is to 45. Makikita natin ito sa mga boxes na, ayan, sa mga box, ayan, or sa height ng, siguro ng bahay, ayan, pag sinasabi kung ilang, ano, ilang, ayan, kung ilang, kung gano'ng kalaki yung bahay. Ganun. So, hindi lang two numbers yung pwede natin i-ratio, pwede tatlo. Okay. Isasama ko na lang dito sa creeper. Tapos try natin sabutan yung iba dito. Yan, ito madali lang to Mga 36 to, is to 12. Pag uh, ganito, ayan, um, as a fraction and using uh, using a colon, make sure lang na ano, <clears throat> na nasa ano siya, lowest term or lowest form or yung simplest form. Hindi na siya divisible by any number.
टेक्नोलॉजी में लिखा है Okay, so meron tayo ditong ano um yung number uh, three, tapos four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So yon um uh, sabihin na natin kung ano yung ano siya. I convert lang natin siya into fraction using colon and also percentage. So paano ba natin kinukuha yung ano yung percentage? Again um pag ano natin siya convert natin siya into decimal minu multiply lang natin siya by 100 okay so ilang percentage ilang uh, ilang ano to parang how many percent uh? kung ilang percent ng 36 yung 12 tama ba tama ba tanong ko ayun yung 36 anong percent siya ng ano ilang percent siya ng 12 ganun So, for example, sa una muna, ako muna yung sa number 3. So, 36 is to 12. Ayan, pag kinubert ko siya as a fraction, di ba 36 over 12 siya, and pag sinimplest form natin siya, or yung um, lowest term, magiging 3 over 1. Tapos, using a colon, 3 is to 1. And then, pag kinubert ko siya sa per percentage, magiging 300%. Okay, so ang sasabihin natin, yung fraction, yung colon, and then yung percentage. Okay, so sa number four, sino yung gustong magsagot? Okay, number four. Sige, Jaisel. Number two, ay number five. Number five, si, ano, si Rowell Team. Number six, sino ba? Okay, number six, si, ano, si Seth. Ma'am, ano nga po yung sasabihin? Ano, fraction, tapos colon, colon then percentage. And, and then percentage. Okay po, ma'am. Thank you po. And then si Lamoste, number eight. Si Villary number nine. Number ten. May gusto ba kay number ten? Tsaka eleven. Yan. May decimal siya pero ano lang naman, carry lang yan. <laughs> Okay, sige. Pag ganito, pag may decimal, tapos i-ano natin, gagawin mo lang siyang whole number. So, for, mag sa so number 10, 0 0.2 to 8. Para malaman natin kung, kung ngayon, kung tao, mali mo tao pala yung pinag-uusapan dito, di naman lang siya maging, di naman siya pwede maging point, uh, 0 0.2. So, ang mangyayari, ang mangyayari niyan, magiging 1 is to 40 siya. Ganun. Kasi yung 1 uh, divided by 0 0.2 is 5 times 8. 40. So, magiging 1 is to 40 siya. Ganun. Same then with, ano, with, tawag dito. With 72 is to 1.2. Siguro, ihuhul number mo din yung 1.2. Kasi maali mo yun nga, tao din yung pinag-uusapan. So, sige, laktawan na lang natin. Okay na yun hanggang number 9. Okay, hanggang kay Villardine. Okay, so sa so number four, ano, Jaisel? Yung number four po, yung fraction ko is two over one. And then yung colon ko po mm -hmm. is two is to one. And then yung percentage ko po is 200%. Okay, thank you. Uh, sa so number five, si Robal Team. Yung, yung fraction ko po, eight over five. Mm-mm. -mm. Yung colon ko po, 8 is to 5. 8 is to 5 mm -mm. po. Tapos po yung percentage mm -mm. niya po yung 160%. Mm -mm. 
kasi 1.6 po yung decimal niya times 100. Mm. 160 po. Okay, so correct. Number 6 naman si Manalo. Hello. Ayun po ba? Hello. Mm -mm. Ayun ba? Yung sa number 6 po is 12 is to 3. Yung fraction niya 12 over 3. Then yung lowest term is 4 is to 1. And percentage is 400%. Okay, so good. Number 7 naman si... Sino number 7? Number 7... Ay, wala pala number 7. Okay, sino yung number 7? Walang main ano, walang number 7. Sige, naktawan muna natin. Number 8. Sino yung number 8? Si Vili, si Lamoste. <laughs> ano po yung fraction ko, ma'am? 8 over 32. Tapos yung colon ko, 1 over 1 fourth. Okay, 1 fourth. Okay, 1 fourth. Tapos yung colon mo? 1 is to 4. Mm -hmm. And then percentage? Magpa-percentage po ba yung ano, hindi whole number? Oh yes, pwede siyang i-percentage. Yun nga lang, less than 100% na siya. Try mo, i-gawing decimal siya. I-convert mo into decimal. Ilang po na. Okay. Sige, yeah, we're waiting. Po. One is to four. I know one, yung one, one is to four. Tama ba? One fourth? One fourth? Icon, ano, try mo siya convert into decimal. Pag nagko-convert tayo ng decimal, pag galing fraction, ano siya, magiging one divided by four. So, since hindi naman siya pwedeng ma-divide, ang ginagawa natin para mag-divide natin siya, di ba, nag-move tayo ng point. So, pero yung magiging sagot natin, minumove din natin ng isang point. Ganun. So, magiging 10, ano siya, 10 divided by 4. So, pag 10 divided by 4 equals 2. Tapos may matitira pa din 2, di ba? Uh, kasi 4 times 2, ano ba tawag? 2 times 4 equals 8. Tapos 10, um, wait nga, ano natin? I... Tulay natin. Pag po yung dyan. Pag mm -mm -mm. Ayun. Oo, tama. 0.25. Pero pwede naman tayo gumamit ang calculator. Ayun, calculator. Yeah, gamit na lang tayo ng calculator. Pag dinivide natin yung pag nag ano tayo, pag ginawa natin decimal yung ano yung isang fraction, parang dinidivide lang din natin yung numerator by the denominator. So kung 1 is to 4, ano siya magiging ano 1 divided by 4 equals 0 0.25 siya. So pag ganito, pag percentage natin, minu-multiply lang natin siya ng by 100 para makuha natin yung percentage. So, times 100, nagiging 25%. So, for number 8, 25% tayo. So, yun. Um, pag fraction, 1 fourth, colon, one, 1 is to 4. And then, yung, kumbaga, pag yung decimal niya, 0 0.25. Tapos, pag percentage, 25%. Okay. So, number 9 na tayo kay, ano, kay Villarin. Fraction po mga ano? 8 over mm -hmm. 1. Colon. Mm -hmm. 8 is to 1. Mm -hmm. Sa po ano po? 800% po? Mm -mm. Okay. So, correct. Ayun. So, alam naman na natin, alam naman na natin kung paano gumamit ng, ano, ng percentage. Ganun lang siya. Parang from decimal, multiply lang natin by 100.
Okay, so may, may questions pa ba tayo, guys? Yun, yung ano muna, since marami kayong sinasagutan, feel ko next time ko na lang i-discuss yung mathematics sa buying and selling para tapos na yung mga basic na ano natin, na topics natin sa business math. Ayun, so for the next chapter, yung next week natin, ano na tayo, um, mathematics sa buying and selling, and then interest and commission. So, pag mga interest din, may mga involved din na mga percentage. Okay, tapos pag may mga markup, margin, and markdown, more likely may mga ano din yan, mga proportion din dyan, tsaka ratio. So, may question ba guys? Medyo madali pa yung mga ano natin. Madali pa yung topic natin sa business math. Yung chapter 1, 2, 3 natin. Ayun. Parang ano na lang, pahinga nyo na lang siya. Okay, so, i-dismiss ko na kayo guys. Ayun, and ano nga pala, um, bago tayo mag... Uh, bago ko i-end yung ano yung discussion yon yung assignment nyo or yung group work nyo sa accounting yon kailangan mapasa nyo siya Monday hanggang Monday night or hanggat hindi ko pa na discuss yon pwede nyo pa siyang ipasa group work Okay, guys, may questions tayo regarding ratio and proportions. Nagets naman natin. Naalala nyo ba yung mga lesson nyo during high school and elementary? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so if yes, uh, we cannot dismiss. Uh, see you next week na lang ulit. Okay, thank you for those who attended. Goodbye. Thank you, Bye.